That's all right. Yes, Lord. Daniel fell down as though he were dead. Yes, Lord. Eleven apostles plus 120 some more people were shaking too. To the point people thought they were drunk. Amen. How about that? Amen. John chapter 7. Listen carefully. Preacher, may God bless his word. Verse 14. Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man letters, having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. Now understand what it said. The Jews were astonished. Jesus was not of the tribe of the priest. While he was on earth, he could not go into the holies of holies in his own tabernacle. Because he came by way of the tribe of Judah. And so they wanted to know, this man had not been to seminary. He's not a rabbi like the Levites. How does he know the law and the prophets and he's never been taught? We haven't seen him in the schools. Then Jesus replied, my teaching is not mine. Listen to this carefully. Then he said, if anybody would do the will of God, then you'll know what teachings belong to God. Everybody understand that? When you walk in the will of God, you come out with the same teaching. Right. I feel the virtue. You understand me, preacher? Any man that does the will of God will know the teachings of God. This is what he said. Remember that. If you're out of the will of God, you're going to be out of the will of teaching somewhere. But if any man that do his will, he should know of the doctrine, the teachings, whether they be of God or not. Now, son, read John 12, 35. And this is my point. And then I'm going to give you just a few uh, examples. And I just reached it through. I just want you to understand it. Uh, John chapter 12, 7, verse 35. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Amen. Walk while ye have the light, yes, Lord. lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whether he goeth. While ye have light, believe in the light that ye may be the children of light. And that's what I want to tell you. No, Pastor. Walk in the light as you see it. When you see truth, walk in it. Because if you don't, then darkness will overtake you. Because you will not have taken advantage of the light. The majority of people walk away from the light. Because they like darkness more than light. Why do they like the darkness? Because the things they do are evil. When you can't walk into the light, it's because you are involved in something unrighteous. Amen. But Jesus said, while you have the light, then walk in it. While God is working with you, while God is trying to show you, accept it. Yes, walk in it. Yes, because if you walk in darkness, you don't know which way you're going. And then he said, you better walk in the light that you may be called the children of light. Walk in the light while you have it. When God presents truth to you and you see it, take it. Because if you don't, the darkness will creep in. I want to give you a few examples. Turn to Acts chapter 2, and I'll just go straight down. A few examples of what it means to see the light and walk in it. Acts chapter 2. Verse 38 through verse uh, 47. Just read it straight through and then I'll explain. Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. For the promises unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized. And the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued steadfastly 
in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. Yes, Lord. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together and had all things common. And sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men. And every man had need, as every man had need. And they continued daily with one accord in the temple. And breaking bread from house to house, did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Praising God and having favor with all the people. Now the, now the disciples were in Jerusalem at the time of the Feast of Pentecost where they were gathered together and thanked God for the harvest. But there was an interruption. The Holy Ghost fell upon the disciples of the Lord. Now there were believers in Judaism from all parts of the earth. They were from every nation speaking in all types of languages. And then they heard the disciples speaking in other languages. The languages of the people that were on the outside. And so they wanted to know what was wrong. These were people who didn't believe in Jesus, so they were Jewish. Peter got up and preached to them how that you crucified the Christ. But that same Jesus is now both Lord and Christ. And that you have to answer for what you did. And it just so happened, the Bible said now they were pricked in their hearts. They got convicted. Through the preached word of Peter, they saw the what? The light. What did they do? They asked Peter, what did you do? He said, repent. Be baptized. They were wanting you in the name of Jesus Christ. And what did they do? They immediately got baptized. Amen. Many of them never went back home again. They sold everything they had and they put it together to start a community because they saw the light. You see, when you see the light and accept it, you walk in it. Amen. That's how you know somebody's for real. They will walk in it. And they won't hesitate. Once they see it, they walk in it. Today is the day of salvation. The day you hear my voice, what did he say? Uh -huh. Son, turn to Acts chapter 4, <laughs> verse 32 through 37. I just go on down the line. I'm just showing you an example of what it means to walk in the light. And the multitude of them that believed were of one heart and of one soul. Neither said any of them that ought of the things which he possessed was his own. <laughs> But they had all things common. And with great power gave the apostles witness of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. Neither was there any among them that lacked. For as many as were possessors of lands or houses sold them. And brought the prices of the things that were sold. And laid them down at the apostles' feet. And distribution was made into every man according as he had need. And Hilsus, who by the apostles was surnamed Barnabas, which is being interpreted the son of consolation, a Levite, and of the country of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. Now, for those of you that know the Bible, now you see where Barnabas came from. Paul and Barnabas, this was the Barnabas that walked with Paul. He was a Levite. He heard the gospel message. He received the light, and what did he do? He did exactly what everybody else was doing. He had property, and he sold it, and he joined himself to the truth. Can you see that? Amen. Acts chapter 8, son, verse 12. We'll go right through it. But when they believed Philip, preaching the things concerning the kingdom of God and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized, both men and women. Church, they praise the Lord. Praise Philip went down to Samaria <laughs> to tell the people that the comforter had come. He preached Jesus and with miracles and signs. And the whole city believed him. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says that when they believed Philip preaching, that means they saw the what? Nice. What did they do? Walking. How did they walk in? Baptized. They were baptized in the name of the Lord. Amen. You see, when you listen carefully, it's important. When you see people that are not in truth and they see the light and they don't respond question their spirit. Mm -hmm. okay. Because they that do the will of God will know of the doctrine. Amen. That spirit upon them will say, this is the way. Amen. This is the way. I feel a virtue. You understand, sir? And if they see it, well, I can see it, but they don't act. Now you have to wonder what spirit are they of. 
You see, they haven't. They, 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 if they don't walk into the light, something's wrong. Now, preacher, uh, uh, read chapter 8 of the same book, starting verse 29 to 39. Then the Spirit said unto Philip to go near and join thyself to this chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? And he said, How can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. The place of the scripture which he read was this. He was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And like a lamb dumb before his shear, so opened he not his mouth. Now some people try to say, you all preaching this gospel here. What about a country like Africa? Well, this story was written 2,000 years ago. Amen. And I'm only reading you portions of the scripture. That's right. But the man Philip is talking to is an African man. Amen. He's an Ethiopian. And according to history, after Philip got through with him, he took the apostles' doctrines yes, back to Ethiopia. Yes, and you've got millions yes, of Ethiopians right now yes, that baptize the way we do, Amen. believe the gospel the way we teach it. Yes, sir. The Bible is an interracial book. You understand? Amen. And so he was an important man. He worked for the queen. And he was reading the scriptures and didn't understand it. The Holy Ghost, after Philip baptized all these people, the Holy Ghost led him. God, let me be led by your spirit. Yeah. When I go outside to go to the store, let me be led by your spirit. Yeah. On my job, let me be led by your spirit. Yeah. In my neighborhood, let me be led by your spirit. Yeah. Lord, let me be open by you can tell me to go stand over here. And while I'm standing over here, here comes the person you're ready for me to meet. And you'll give me the words to say. He said, how can I understand except some man teach me? Now keep reading. What verse? 33. Go ahead and read over there. In his humiliation, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. And the eunuch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this? Of himself or of some other man? Then Philip, Philip opened his mouth and began at the same scripture... And preached unto him Jesus. He preached Jesus out of an Old Testament book. <laughs> yes, sir. He went to Isaiah and preached Jesus. Yes, so next time you read Isaiah, look for Jesus. Yes, because he's in there. Amen. Read. And as they went on their way, they came upon a certain water. And the eunuch said, See, here, here is water. What doth hinder me to be baptized? And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And he commanded the chariot to stand still. And they went down both into the water, both Philip and the eunuch. And he baptized them. And when they were some come out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord caught away Philip, that the eunuch saw him no more. Now, what did the eunuch get his baptism from? They had to have come from what message? The message Philip gave him. He just got through baptizing the whole city. But the eunuch, the eunuch, he didn't understand it then. But by the time Philip got through talking to him, he saw the what? He saw the what? And then what did he do? He walked in it by doing what? Accepting the salvation. You have not received the light if you don't walk in it. Amen. You may see it, but you haven't accepted it. Amen. And once again, if someone that is not a truth, or you present a truth to them and they see it, and they don't walk in it, you need to stand still. Amen. Because it could be you're dealing with a wolf in sheep clothing, Amen. or someone that's rebellious. Amen. And you need to be careful. Okay, we just got a couple more scriptures. Can you all see that? Yes, now, ninth, the ninth chapter, son, verse 17 through 22. And Ananias went his way and entered into the house, and putting his hands on him, said, Brother, Saul, the Lord, even Jesus that appeared to thee in the way as thou camest, have sent me, that thou might receive thy sight and be filled with the Holy Ghost. And immediately... There fell from his eyes and had been scales, and he received sight forthwith, and arose, and was 
baptized. And when he had received me, he was strengthened. Now this man, Ananias, told this person he was talking to, God told me to come and pray for you that you may receive the Holy Ghost and be baptized. You know who he was talking to? This is Apostle Paul. 